so yesterday we were discussing the types of computer and uh, last was types of digital computers and we were on micro computers so i told you micro computer is a computer whose cpu is known as microprocessor and uh, what is microprocessor when all the components they are connected on a single chip that is called microprocessor so these are the types of micro computers handheld computer portable computers and desktop pcs and workstation okay clear so what is the full form of pda personal digital assistant then is mini computers mini computers are also known with other name that is called mid range servers this is the another name of mini computers as per the working capacity mini computers they are more powerful than micro computers micro computers as we studied they are single user mini computers they are multi user system the capacity of mini computers the storage capacity of mini computer is more than the micro computer the memory of mini computer is more than the micro computer clear so these are the examples of mini computer pdp 11 wax 7500 magnum these are the examples of mini computers then comes the main frame computer beta main frame computers they are very big in size right they are designed to handle very large amount of data almost in large scale multinational companies where bulk of data needs to be processed where large amount of data needs to be processed we use the main frame computers okay and it has such a vast capacity that at one time more than 100 users can use it at the same time they are very large in size they are very expensive and they have greater processing speed as compared to mini and micro computers the storage capacity the processing speed capacity is very good much better than the mini computers okay right and what are the examples of main frame computers icl 39 cdc 6600 wax 8842 ibm 3090 and ibm 4381 these are the examples of main frame computers last but do not the least super computers most powerful computer that are mainly used for scientific research for weather forecasting for nuclear science research because such computers have greatest processing speed and they can process billions and trillions of calculations at very high speed okay examples of supercomputer are cray xmp14 cdc205 eta gf10 fuji uh, fuji tsu vp 400 param and anurag these two are the super computers in india param and anurag got it so uh, i have discussed first chapter i have revised the first chapter now the questioning round starts so all of you who want to give the answer you have to come on the video first you have to on the video then you will give the answer okay uh what is the full form of cpu i said come on the video if you want to give the answer yes chatanya the central processing unit central processing unit very right full form of pda jia janvi come on the video if you want to give the answer
यस जिया जानवी वीडियो ऑन करो अगर आप आंसर देना चाहते हो तो अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ पोर्टेबल डिजिटल असिस्टेंट इट इज पर्सनल डिजिटल असिस्टेंट ओके ऑल राइट फुल फॉर्म ऑफ सी यू फुल फॉर्म ऑफ सी यू यस चैतन्य अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ आर यू अवेयर अबाउट द टर्म चैतन्य ईशानी अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ Unmute yourself, Ishani. Sir, control unit. Very right. It is control unit. Okay, ALU. Who will tell the full form of ALU? Yes, Guru Pal. Arithmetic logical unit. Arithmetic logic unit. Okay, very right. Full form of IPO. IPO. Kanish, come on the video if you want to give the answer. Kanish, video pe aaye. I think he. Uh, I'm not uh, audible clearly to him. Yes, Gurshan. Un uh, unmute yourself. The input process out. Input process and output. Very right. Very correct. Okay. Uh, tell me four types of microcomputers. Four types of microcomputers. Who will tell? Four types of microcomputers. anyone handheld pdas desktop workstation okay just now i discuss with you na these four type of uh, micro computers mobile and handheld computers portable pcs desktops and workstations these are the four types of micro computers okay two computers purpose wise name two computers purpose wise yes jia janvi for general purpose computer and special purpose computer very right very correct general purpose computer and special purpose computer okay uh three computers operation wise name three computers operation wise yes who will tell three computers operation wise yes kanish sir analog computers digital computers hybrid computers very right kanish analog digital and hybrid which computer is the combination of analog and digital which computer is combination of analog and digital computer yes japji unmute yourself sir hybrid computers very right hybrid computer okay so first chapter is revised now let us proceed to the second chapter Okay. Uh, I just open the yeah. Okay, beta. Is PDF visible to all for the chapter two revision of chapter two? All right. So <clears throat> this chapter already we have covered, but let us revise this chapter. and uh, it is based on the types of hardware types of input devices output devices okay the memory devices 
right okay uh, in general sense what is hardware already i have told you hardware means the physical components of computer the parts of computer which you can touch which you can see okay like uh, your keyboard mouse scanner printer your cpu your hard disk printer okay all these are types of hardware right now what is memory beta memory means the storage area where large amount of data is kept stored for future reference you are working in word you are creating a file you save the file in your hard disk so hard disk is your memory hard disk is your storage area as it stores the file you transfer the file in pen drive pen drive is your storage area okay got it so there are basically two types of memory primary memory and secondary memory primary memory is also known as main memory or internal memory as we are doing the work we are in the main memory hum jab kaam kar rahe hain hum main memory mein hain okay main memory is temporary in nature it is volatile in nature as the power goes the data will get erased the data will get lost that is why it is always recommended to save your data primary memory is of two types ram and rom ram stands for random access memory rom stands for read only memory then second is your secondary memory beta secondary memory is permanent memory it is also known as auxiliary memory or external memory theek hai like your hard disk your pen drive cd dvd blu ray disk all these are secondary storage devices the storage capacity of secondary memory the storage capacity of secondary memory is much more as compared to the storage capacity of primary memory but the processing speed is more of primary memory less of secondary memory cpu is directly connected with the primary memory am i clear then units of memory beta there are various units of memory okay first is i just go through first is one bit one bit means zero or one computer has two stage low stage high stage low voltage high voltage okay clear about so every digital computer it goes under two stages the low voltage and the high voltage stage low means zero high means one so one byte equal to eight bits one kilobyte equal to 1024 bytes 1 megabyte equal to 1024 kilobytes 1 gigabyte equal to 1024 megabytes 1 terabyte is equal to 1024 gigabyte 1 petabyte equal to 1024 terabyte and 1 exabyte is equal to 1024 petabyte already you have done these units now i ask questions from you one byte equal to one byte is equal to yes ishan ishan unmute yourself your voice is not audible to me ishan okay uh, manya with 1 byte equal to 8 bits 8 bits okay 1 kilobyte equal to yes jia janvi unmute yourself 
जिया जानवी वट इज वन मेगा बाइट इक्वल टू यस गुरशान सर वन जीरो टू फोर किलो बाइट वन जीरो टू फोर किलो बाइट ओके वन गीगा बाइट इक्वल टू जप जी वन जीरो टू फोर मेगा बाइट वन जीरो टू फोर मेगा बाइट ओके वन टेरा बाइट इक्वल टू मान्य अवीत हर्षित बेदी कहा चला गया हर्षित बेदी गौन या हर्षित बेदी वॉट इज वन पीटा बाइट इक्वल टू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ वन जीरो टू फोर टेरा बाइट वन जीरो टू फोर टेरा बाइट ओके and uh, one exabyte gurshan so 1024 petabyte 1024 petabyte okay okay what is one nibble equal to who will tell one nibble n i d b l e yes harshit okay anybody knows one nibble bit of one nibble is equal to 4 bits please note it down somewhere in the rough notebook one nibble is equal to 4 bits please note it down somewhere in the rough notebook one nibble is equal to Four bits, okay. All right. Anybody can tell me uh, some examples of secondary storage devices. Some examples of secondary storage devices. Anyone? Again, Gurshan. Yes, Gurshan. Raise, uh, unmute yourself. The hard disk. floppy disk cd pen drive blu ray disk okay hard disk floppy disk pen drive blu ray disk okay uh what is ascii code american standard code for information interchange beta it is the encoding scheme that represent each character Each character means even a plus symbol. चाहे कोई सिंबल है चाहे लोअर केस लेटर है चाहे अपर केस लेटर है चाहे डिजिट है एवरी करेक्टर हैज अक आस्का कोड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच इट इज स्टोर्ड इन द मेमरी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच इट इज स्टोर्ड इन द मेमरी देन इज यूनिवर्सल कोड यूनिकोड इट इज ऑल्सो द एनकोडिंग स्कीम where each character is represented as group of 2 bytes 2 byte means 16 bits 2 byte means 16 bits am i clear all right anybody can tell me features of primary memory features of primary memory yes please who will try tell me features of primary memory yes gurupal unmute yourself gurupal where he has gone yes tanveen unmute yourself yes sir features of primary Prime primary memory is also known as a uh, main memory or internal memory Mm -hmm. uh it is used to hold data and instructions during processing okay. it is temporary in nature uh it is volatile in nature okay. there are two types of primary memory ram and rom ram and rom okay what is the full form of ram dhairya unmute yourself dhairya unmute yourself Dhairya, am I audible to you? Unmute करो खुद को Okay, Gurshan, you tell me full form of RAM. So RAM, random yes. access memory. Random access memory. ROM, 
what is the full read form only. of rom read only memory read only memory okay what are the features of secondary memory what are the features of secondary memory yes there is unmute i think some technical problem is coming it's okay there have no no problem jia janvi tell me the features of secondary memory please there is a disconnect and then come again in the class it is known as auxiliary memory it is permanent in nature it has a larger storage capacity as compared to primary memory and it also holds data for the future use uh storage capacity is more than the primary memory secondary memory is not directly connected with cpu okay secondary memory has less processing speed as compared to primary memory okay fine okay what is the full form of ascii full form of ascii yes kanish sir american standard code for information interchange american standard code for information interchange okay what is the full form of unicode what is the full yes dhwani the universal code universal code okay all right so let us discuss the features of rom beta rom stands for read only memory the information which is stored in the rom is fixed it can't be changed okay and using rom you can only read the data you cannot write in the rom okay you can read the data you cannot write in the rom clear then rom is non volatile in nature as compared to ram which is volatile non volatile means data does not get erased even when the power goes off clear but the processing capacity of rom is slower than ram clear then is ram beta ram stands for random access memory when we are working in the computer we are working in the ram okay we can read as well as write data in the ram data in the ram can be written or changed and ram is volatile in nature whereas rom is non volatile in nature the storage capacity of ram is limited but the processing speed is more in ram less in rom clear then read this note carefully immediate access storage ias beta there are two memories which are known as ias rom and ram okay these two memories they are known as ias immediate access storage then these are the differences between ram and rom ram is used to access data randomly at any time from any location you can access the data rom refers to the permanent instruction given by the manufacturer and these instructions are used to start the computer data in rom in ram can be read as well as write but as compared to rom we can only read the data we cannot write the data then ram contents can be changed or altered as and when required you can make changes in the ram you can edit the data but alterations and changes is not an easy job in rom the processing speed of ram is fast the processing speed of rom is slow ram is volatile in nature rom is non volatile in nature ram is temporary in nature rom is
परमानेंट इन नेचर बिकॉज इंस्ट्रक्शन आर परमानेंटली स्टोर्ड बाय द मैन्युफैक्चर क्लियर All right. Now these are the secondary storage devices. First is floppy disk, most oldest type of device, easily breakable, very light in weight, very less costly, and it used to store very very less amount of data, just one point four four MB. Okay. then is hard disk beta hard disk is more costly as compared to floppy disk it is more heavy as compared to floppy disk the storage capacity of hard disk is much more than any other secondary storage device it 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 goes till 1 tb 1 tb means 1 terabyte okay compare the storage capacity of hard disk with floppy floppy is nothing in front of hard disk okay then floppy disk is economical in price very cheap in price hard disk is expensive it is costly clear then cd beta cd stands for compact disk read only memory the storage capacity of cd is 700 mb it is very light in weight and very economical in price 10 20 rupees ki aaram se mil jati hai ye what are the various types of cd cdr compact disc recordable cdrw compact disc rewritable and cd rom compact disc read only memory now comes another device that is called dvd beta dvd ki storage capacity cd se zyada hai a dvd can store four digital movies at one time okay the storage capacity ranges from 4.7 gb to 17 gb much more as compared to a normal cd dvd is also of three types dvd r digital versatile disc recordable dvd rw digital versatile disc rewritable and dvd rom digital versatile disc read only memory clear now questioning round starts three type of cd three type of cd yes who will tell uh yes raghav unmute yourself sir uh, cd is of three types cdr which is compact disc recordable cdrw which is compact disc rewritable and cdrom which is compact disc read only memory okay three types of dvd digital versatile disc rewritable digital versatile disc recordable digital versatile disk read only memory okay good good response what is the storage capacity of dvd storage capacity of dvd yes dhwani 4.7 gb to 17 gb 4.7 gb to 17 gb what is the storage capacity of cd gurshan sir up to 700 mb 700 mb okay what is the storage capacity of floppy disk yes tanveen sir 1.44 mb 1.44 mb okay okay two differences between floppy disk and hard disk two differences between floppy disk and hard disk Yes, Dhwani. Dhwani, unmute yourself. Sir, floppy disk stores a uh, less amount of data. Very good. Hard disk stores a uh, large amount of data as compared very to. Very right. Very right. Very good. Second difference. Sir, 
floppy disk is uh, very light in weight yes hard disk is heavy in weight very good very right any other difference sir floppy disk is costly uh, less costly hard disk is costly hard disk is expensive still any one difference dhairya aap uh, very good dhwani yes dhairya unmute yourself dhairya unmute yourself your voice is still not audible dhairya one difference more is there floppy disk is easily portable you can keep in pocket easily portable hard disk is not easily portable okay so these were the difference between the hard disk and floppy disk okay what is the difference in cd and dvd differentiate between cd and dvd who will tell yes gurshan yes sir sir cd stand yes yes please cd stands for compact disc and dvd stands for digital versatile disc okay storage capacity cd is 700 mb and storage capacity of dvd is up to 4.7 gb to 17 gb okay देखो ये देखो ओके पेन ड्राइव इज ऑल्सो नोन एज यूएसबी ड्राइव थंब ड्राइव और फ्लैश मेमोरी ओके द स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी ऑफ पेन ड्राइव वेरीज फ्रॉम फोर जीबी टू फाइव वन टू जीबी एंड इट इज इजिली एफोर्डेबल इजिली यू कैन कैरी इन योर पॉकेट वेरी लाइट इन वेट ओके बट pen drive is costly than cd dvd and blu ray disc then blu ray disc why it is called blu ray disc because the laser is of blue color the laser inside it is of blue color that is why it is called blu ray disc basically it is used to store high definition videos and the storage capacity of blu ray disc varies from 25 gb to 50 gb okay 